This is a brief video showing the construction of the orthocenter of a triangle. And the orthocenter is the point of concurrency of the lines containing the altitudes of a triangle. So in order to construct the orthocenter, we first have to construct the three altitudes. To do that, we'll just start with a random triangle here. And it will be an acute triangle. There we go. And to begin with, we simply have to construct the perpendicular lines through a point where the point referenced is each of the vertices, one in turn, and then the line has to be perpendicular to the opposite side. So we're going to start at vertex A, and we want to construct a line that is perpendicular to BC, that is segment BC, but passes through A. So to do that, I will place the compass at A, and we'll set it so that it will intersect BC in two points. This is a fairly decent setting here. There's one, two points. Notice that as I do that, it has nothing to do with these two sides here. These two sides are irrelevant when I'm trying to construct a line perpendicular to BC that passes through A. I'm only focusing on A and this side down here, BC. Once I've found these two points, I'll now put the needle of my compass on one of them and swing an arc and then move it to the other one here and cross that first arc. That point will be where my perpendicular line will pass through like this and the altitude lies there. The altitude goes only from the vertex to the opposite side but I'm going to go ahead and draw the whole thing in just so that it's clear where that construction came from with respect to this point down here. So that's the first line containing the first altitude. Now we'll repeat the process at vertex C and when I do so my only concern is with respect to side AB on the other side over here. You'll notice that as I drew this arc over here it missed segment AB. In order to construct the altitude correctly, I'm going to extend side AB so that it actually intersects that second arc I made. Now I have two points of intersection, one here closer to A and one over here, which is closer to B but is actually outside or past point B. Again, I'll move my compass to one of the intersections and make an arc and then to the other intersection and make an arc and I will connect that intersection with vertex C from C to the intersection down this end. My altitude lies between vertex C and the opposite side and this line is my line containing my altitude. Finally we need to construct the <coughs> altitude to vertex B. So I'll put my compass at point B and again swing an arc swing a second arc. You can see that those arcs just caught the lines, that is the segment AC, just short of C and just short of A. And so we'll be able to use those just fine. I now put the needle of my compass at the first intersection and draw an arc. Switch it to the second intersection and draw an arc. I then connect those two arc, the intersection of those two arcs to vertex B and there we have the line containing altitude to point B. Again, the altitude goes only from B to the opposite side. Each of these, we can be sure now, are perpendicular. And the orthocenter lies there, the point of concurrency where the three of them meet. And that is the construction of the orthocenter, having constructed one by one the three altitudes of the triangle.